The principal deity of our land. Accept our sacrifice.
your word. I have come to where you sent me. Let your signs and wonders confirm your work through my hand in this village. Here I am, far away from my home, my friends, and my relatives. For you are more than a million relatives to me. And I know that you are here. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. A farmer came to inform us this morning that he saw a strange man entering into the village. And he is sure he does not come from any of the neighboring villages. So we followed him immediately and saw this man kneeling under the sacred of Bagun tree, hmm? saying some incantation. So we dragged him here. Strange man. What is your name? Where do you come from? What is your mission in this village? I am um, you. Your Highness. Long believe Your Highness. I came from the city. After the lorry had dropped me as far as it could take me, I've had to trek for two days to get here, Your Highness. Altogether, I have spent four days to get here, Your Highness. And what is your mission in this village? I brought the message of peace and deliverance, Your Highness. Has Bode Ajuwon declared a war against any neighboring village? <laughs> <laughs> no, Your Highness. But there is a superpower that can deliver everyone from the end of the evil one. This superpower will guarantee lasting peace and total deliverance in this village, Your Highness. Young man, when you entered into this village, did you see us money? Did you hear any, any drum beats of war? So what type of total deliverance and peace are you talking about? Your Highness, I brought the message of peace of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of all Lords. If you allow him in this village, it will remove all the curse and the spell of the evil gods of this land. He will rule the affairs of this village. And he will bring to the of your mouth. Hold it. Strange man. Did I hear you say that I should release the fear of this village to somebody else? Or what did I hear you say now? Your Highness, <laughs> I said, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the King of kings and the Lord of all lords. <laughs> Whatever gods are ruling the affairs of this village are but eight agents of the evil one. Eh? Wow. The gods cannot guarantee lasting peace and total deliverance. Uh -huh. But Jesus Christ will deliver this village from the end of the devil ah, and will bring you out of. You are calling the gods of our land a 
agents of evil. Ah, young man, who sent you to this place? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, sent me here with the message of salvation and deliverance, Your Highness. Ah, ah. Uh, and, 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 and you said that Jesus Christ is a king? King of which village? You. The son of God. The king of kings. He's the king of all kings, your highness. <laughs> Strange man. You are talking foolish things. Like a madman. He's mad. Oh, exactly. He's mad. I am Alaju of Bodhi Ajua, the king over all this land. I am not under any king. And I don't take instruction from any king. Now, listen. I will have mercy on you today. Because my village is in a festive mood. We have just concluded our annual festival of Orisha Gobo. Therefore, I will allow you to go in peace. Go back to where you came from. And do not let me set my eyes on you again. In this village or any part of this land. on you again in this village I will sacrifice you to the gods yes. take him back let him pack his bag of baggage and leave this village with me yes. My
not Jesus Christ. I know and I am sure that you sent me to this village. Yesterday, I attempted to go back. You spoke to me in that dream that I should stay and wait on you. For three days I have been into this village. I have not taken anything. I have been fasting. But this evening, I am ending the fast. What will I take? What will I eat? Lord, and the king has warned me never to return to the village. I need some food. I need your help. Help me, Lord. I want to do thing. Kabiesi. I'll be fast up the road. Kabiesi. Well, what did the Oreku say? Hmm. If I want your pong bong, and your pong, or do mulotto, or lock on a lossy, and your pong tar, hm? Hm. Shake I don't want to keep Benny. They were born. Loma by ye. Oh, dear, very good day. They were born. Loma wa la iku. I were born. Loma raju. I remember. I don't lari. Ah, ah, rabo. Ah, kabiesi. What is it? I want to Does one need to slice a big word with his knife? It is heavy, Kabiesi. What is heavy? Death. Death looms on our Mabaumi. Yay! Oh, sure, Kabiesi. If I have noise, if I please help. This is not time to cry. This is not time to make noise. I will Kabiesi. I am sure. If I must provide a way of escape. I'm sure there must be things to do to avert the imminent death over a remoba woman. Mm -hmm. What did Ivan Oreku say we should do? There is a way out, Kabiesi. Mm -hmm. There is a way out. The appeasement must be done tonight. Mm -hmm. If I says we must appease the spirits of the forest, the sacrifice must be taken to the forest tonight. Which of the forest? La Pojuda Forest. Lujo Mamba Pada Lono. Lomaba Pada Waye. Ben Kabies. La Pojuda Forest is a nearby forest. Yes, Kabies. That is. The sacrifice shall be placed under a bagun tree. Of bagun? Mm. Loroa bagun gege. Lomaba ye. Lomaba uba kuma. Ata. <clears throat> what about the items for the sacrifice? Kabiesi. Go ifa. Come on, fi big bere. Come on, fi re baby. Come on, for lulu fun. Man lo gere ta. Ba fe man lo juari na. Kabiesi. Ifa says they are simple things. Hmm. Eko. Eko. Akara. Hmm. Akara. Ishu Sise. That's boiled yam. Yes, Kabiesi. And palm oil. <laughs> yes. Hmm. They are for the spirits of the forest. Hmm. Who blew strange sickness on Aremon Baumi. Hmm. Ben. Hmm. You hear that? Ben, Kabiesi. All those items must be prepared for the sacrifice tonight. The sacrifice lives for the forest tonight. Kabiesi. Mm. Mm. Who will go with the sacrifice? 
Eh, uh, Kabia see you won't go with them. The mother and her son will go. Hmm. Arema will carry the sacrifice. Hmm. Palace guards uh, will also go as okay. escort. Ah. Oh, gigi laga laga o. Tigba ma shala laga ya. Loru kwa pe yele yare laje. Oloruko a apeku. Tigbo mi je tororo lo gu abiyama. Eni e tiri ti mo fi pe yin. E tiri ti mo fi yale yin wa. Ke ma ba so guna ka so so to wa la fi so mi yo. La fi gbe bo fe fe wa. Ke jare mo ye. Bi fere gun ti iye lodo. La fi gbe bo fe fe wa. E ma ja ke <laughs> E yin kete ni bi ise Arun ni ba la re ma ju abo Karun awon wole lo ye Kaisa o tori opere ijasina E po pupa re re e o Ogbagun Isu sise re re e o Ogbagun Kara oro to ba ta re ma la fi ajun Ka ja ke bo yifi ka ja ka bo oyida ihi na lati se fun igun titi gun fi gun ihi lati se fun akala takala la la iku aiku la bakala mago ka ja ka bo oyifi ka ja ka bo oyida hmm o tita this is the sacrifice now it's all over it's all over as we go back to the palace, you must not look back. The gods and the spirits of the forest have accepted the sacrifice. Ogba gonti baku lo lo niyo. Ogba gonti baru lo. Ogba gonti ba aisa wale. Ogba gonti baku lo lo niyo. Ogba gonti baru lo. Ogba Ikuya Ola, Otila, Rado, Iku, Tisha, Bola, Otiwa, no bad in Nagina, Ikuya, Loria, Moba, no, 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 I sanctify this food in the name of Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness.
grace and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for this divine provision. I sanctify this food in the name of Jesus. I infuse it with the blood of Jesus. And I declare it, Lord, sanctified and sacred in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Are you going back? Yes, old man. And the decision is irrevocable. Calm down, my boy. Calm down. Right. Come, let's talk. Now, can you tell me why you want to leave? Can't you see the way I'm living? For the past few days, I've been living on top of trees. Day and night. For fear of being caught by the villagers. I am fed up. But you have not even begun the assignment you are sent to do here. How can I? I was not even allowed to enter the village. Talk less of showing them the way of salvation. And besides, the king said if he sees me, you will sacrifice me to his gods. I'm fed up. My boy, have you ever come across Matthew chapter 12, verse 29 in your Bible? Matthew chapter 12, verse 29. Yes. I can't remember. Here. Check it out. Matthew chapter 12. Verse Open it. 29. Read it. Or else, how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first bind the strong man and then he will plunder his house? What does this mean? It means you cannot gain access into a strong man's house unless you bind him. Then you will gain access into his house and plunder his goods. So, there's a strong man in this village I have to bind. <laughs> yes. But in this case, strong man. Strong men. Yes, you have strong men to contend with. My boy, your mission work in this village would be very successful and abundantly fruitful. But there are powers of this land that you have to contend with. 
They are spiritual strong men. Hmm. Strong men. There are seven demonic forces that rule the affairs of this big village. They are controlled by their chief priests and the priests in the village. Old man, please tell me more about these uh, forces. Ogbagun is the least of them all. Ogbagun. The spirit acts as a gate man at the entrance of the village. You have already subdued his powers. Subdued his power? How? <laughs> you have slept on the tree for three days now, mm. fasting and praying. That tree is not an ordinary one. There is a spirit in that tree. That is why they bring sacrifices to the tree. The spirit in the tree is called Ogbadi. There is Alajogu. They call him Alajogu Agbagbafi Ogi. It is an evil spirit in an evil forest. In the forest of Igbo Alajogun, that spirit always demands for a male sacrifice every year. A young male child. There is a sacred river. The spirit in that sacred river is called Odomujimuja. In the center of the village, the market, there is another village god. The shrine is there. The name of that god is Bemoshonle. Bimoshonle controls the harvest and the commerce of the village. Whenever Bimoshonle demands for a sacrifice, he touches their farms. And all the farmers experience very low harvest or no harvest at all. Sometimes he sends locusts upon their farms and devour all their products. Whenever this happens, they know it's time to sacrifice to Bemoshanle, the god of the harvest. <laughs> Behind the king's palace is a very big rock. There is a spirit that dwells in that rock. The name of that spirit is called Ferekun. Ferekum brings smallpox and epilepsy upon the villagers whenever he demands a sacrifice. They make a sacrifice twice a year to Ferekum. Every dry season, they have a festival called Ilekpaushun. The women sprinkle salt all over the village to appease Ilepa Ocean, the god of the earth. This spirit causes strife and contention amongst the villagers. The principal god ruling this big village is called Orisha Bongo. His shrine is in the center of the village. Orisha Gongbong demands for a young female virgin every year as sacrifice. Hmm. 
they have just concluded their festival when you enter the village. Old one, what shall I do now? Go back to the village. That is where your divine assignment is. Your assignment is not in the city, but it is in that village. If you go to the village, you shall contend with the strong men of the village. You shall overcome them and set their captives free. Go now. Don't move! If you move, I will shoot you! Abomination! Ewa! Okoji! Hmm? Wonka! See! See! This man has eaten the sacrifice prepared for Ogbago! Eh? Unga! Did you eat these things? Can you talk? Who told you I hate the sacrifice? Lie! You hate the sacrifice of the gods. What if I say that the gods hate the sacrifice? You will repeat that to the king. You liar. Have you ever seen the gods eating sacrifice? Oh. So, your gods don't eat sacrifice. Then why do you prepare it for them? Where do you come from? I will not talk again until I see the king. So, so be it. it. Yeah. He is still breathing, but the breathing is the breathing of death. <laughs> My lord, may I go and bring back the Eva priest? And uh, yes, yes. But first, go straight to the house of Wingoroye, the chief priest. Tell him that death looms over my palace. Tell him to consult the oracle on my behalf and bring back for me the sacred word. Go, go, go! Obagu, ala gadalo wobi ishawuru. To the gods of my forefathers, we have I healed. What have I done wrong? I did all you told me to do. I paid all my deeds of sacrifice. What else have I done wrong? Oh, Bagu! 
Some pillars that hold the village of Bodhi Ajumo. We here have I healed. Gods of my forefathers, King Moshe. I did all you told me to do. Move! Move! Come! What? What is it? Your Highness, he's a stranger. We found him sleeping under Obago tree. Not that alone, Your Highness. We discovered that he ate the sacrifice presented to the spirit of the uh, sacred tree. He did what? He ate the sacrifice offered to Obago tree. Strange man. So you are the one who killed my son. You are the one. Come who killed my son. Come here, see. Come here, see. Come here, Please. Come here, see. Please. No wonder the gods did not wave the death over my son. Your Highness. What if I say that the gods had the sacrifice? And I will not believe you. <laughs> but why, Your Highness? They never saw me hit the sacrifice, did they? Ubo. Your Highness, we did not see him eating it, but we saw him sleeping beside the empty calabashes. No one could have eaten it but him. But Your Highness, why is it difficult for you to believe that the gods could have eaten the sacrifice? Can you prove it? Yes, Your Highness. What if I say that the seven gods of this land hate the sacrifice? Ah. Seven? Yes, Your Highness. And what if I say that they met at the house of Obagu to eat the sacrifice? Can you mention the six other gods? Yes, Your Highness. Aladogu. Agbabafi Ogigifi. Eboraiwe Agbeje. Timbelo do muje muje. Be mosole. Ferekun. The spirit that wields the sword of smallpox and epilepsy. Ilepausu was also there. And Norishak Bobo was their leader. What if I say that he was the one that shared the food among the rest, Your Highness? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Your Highness! He's a liar! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. Hunters, come here. Excuse us. You can go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Carry it. Carry it. My young man, all the names of the gods you mentioned are correct. Many of the villagers cannot even mention the full names of these gods the way you have mentioned them. But... Yes. Did you actually see them eating the sacrifice? If we don't believe that the gods will eat the sacrifice, why do we continually place the sacrifice for them? I made sacrifice to appease the gods so that they could wave the death that loomed over my son. But behold, my son died some minutes ago. Ah. 
Sorry, Kavisi. But could it be that the sacrifice demanded by the gods were hidden by the gods and yet my son died? Huh. But young man, you have not actually told me where you come from and who you are. Kabiyesi, three days ago, I was brought here. I spoke and told you that I was sent here by a king, the Lord Jesus Christ. He sent me to you to show you the way of salvation. He said if you allow him, he will help you. And he will bring peace and deliverance to your domain, Kabiesi. But we don't have war. There is peace in the land. And the gods have guaranteed us peace. Kabiesi, the peace you have is fake. Yes, it is fake. That is why you could sacrifice to the gods and yet your son died. We go away. Bandu be Gyagwe. Join us. The gods killed my son. Join us. Will you accuse the gods of doing what they are innocent of? You are accusing the gods of your forefathers, Your Highness. They will not take it kindly. But they demanded for sacrifice, and I gave the sacrifice, and yet my son died. Yes, the prince had to die, Your Highness. Why? The oracle have spoken. What did the oracle say? The gods cannot condone the presence of a stranger in this land. The stranger has offended the gods. He must die. What did the stranger do? The oracle did not disclose. Johannes, is this not the stranger? Yes. The gods have spoken. The stranger must be sacrificed to the spirit of the evil forest in Ibala Jogu. He must die tonight. Kabisi, that's an abomination. Allah Jogu will not accept a full grown man. He accepts a male child from you every year. Stranger, are you here to dictate to us how to sacrifice your gods? Your Highness, the gods have spoken. The stranger must be sacrificed tonight. Tonight! Kabiesi, did the oracle say that it was my presence that caused the prince's death? Yes! Mungoroye, is it possible for my son to live again? Your Highness, the gods cannot raise the dead. The mistake has occurred. And that is why the stranger must be sacrificed tonight. He dies tonight. The good him. Seize him and tie him with ropes. Your Highness. He dies tonight. I, I told you that a king sent me to you. I told you he's the king of kings. And the lord of lords. The chief priest had just said that the gods cannot raise the dead. But my Lord Jesus Christ can raise the dead, Your Highness. Eh? Yes. Are you saying that my son can live again? Yes, Your Highness. He has power over death. There was the case of a man called Lazarus. This man was dead for four days, Your Highness. And the king of kings was called upon. When he came and he got to the grave of the man Lazarus, his corpse was already rotting and stinking. But the king of kings woke him up. And the man lived again, your highness. He can raise the dead, your highness. Release him. Release him. Him. Ah. Ah, but... How will it be possible before you go back to the city and come back with the 
with 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 you with with your king, that king. Won't it take three days? Your Highness, I don't need to go to the city to bring the king. He's everywhere his subjects are. And when they call on him in prayer, he answers them, Your Highness. He's here. Your Highness, this idiot thinks he can deceive Your Highness with lies and deceptive words. He thinks he can waste my time. Strange man. If you are saying all this to deceive us and waste our time, then this night you shall be sacrificed to the gods. But if there is a God according to you who can raise the dead and raise up my dead son, then you shall live. So be it. So be it, Your Highness. So be it. So be it. So be it. So be it, Your Highness. So be it. Christ. I thank you for this opportunity to show your power to these people. Lord, this is the best opportunity to prove to these people that you are above all other gods. In fact, this is the best way to prove that you have sent me to these people, O God, to show them your salvation and deliverance. Therefore, Lord Jesus, I pray that you prove to these people that you are the God above all other gods and that all the gods of the land are dead. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you, spirit of death, over this boy. In the name of Jesus, I cast you out. And I command you, priests, to wake up in the name of Jesus. I command you to arise in the name of Jesus. I command you to arise in the name of Jesus. Babu, eh? the God of the stranger last. Hallelujah, Jesus. Babu, eh? hallelujah, Jesus. Eh? Hallelujah, the Jesus. gods of the strangers have raised up my son. Hallelujah, and Jesus. He's up. This is this is this is great. This is this is this is wonderful. Ha. The gods of the stranger have raised up my dead son. <laughs> ha. Ha. Wonderful. God, it has happened. Your this Highness. Is, eh? Eh? I rejoice that a man lives. No, thank you. But that does not change the position of the gods. That the stranger must die tonight. But what offense has the stranger committed again? We go Only the gods can answer that question, Your Highness. Then this stranger will not die until I hear from the gods the offense he has committed. Your Highness, will you accuse me? I have spoken! Good night!
Baruni. Of our forefathers, awake from your slumber and fight for the cause of your land. Hogbagwo, halajogwo, ewe agbejeo, eborati belodo muje muje, be masoneo, ferekuo. Oni da se pane len kwe a jobo. He le kwa o suo. Hori sha ak bagba. A boni le so li alada madidi. A pepe lege lege. Ti sa wun lo de se lwa ye. E fu fu le le. Ti sa wun lo de se lwa anu. E nyo o sa mini mini jojo. Maka di ni wo. To tiri o lupe e bawa. E ba mi ko wan jo. And you already said, I said, that's your body that you want. Any day, ghosts of our forefathers, arise! Of our forefathers. I know you will come at my beckon. I meant not to disturb your rest. Halajuwa, your child, your throne, has pitched his tent with an homeless stranger to strip you of all your honors and glory in Bodiajuwa. <laughs> Arise and take back all your honors. And the stranger has brought along with him the power of a strange God who threatens to wrench the authority and control of this land from your hand. <laughs> Strike the land. Break havoc. Be masole. Seize their harvest. Let their fertile land refuse to yield with his strength. Fereku. <laughs> Wield your sword or smallpox again. Attack both old and young with smallpox and epilepsy. In the council, holy shark bugbo. Let both man and animals of the land feel your heavy hands. Strike! Hmm. Gods of our forefathers. Gods of our forefathers, mm. let them come down and bow down before you again till they bring to you fresh sacrifices. Kadiesi, what is now your decision? Would you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Mm. Well, if Jesus Christ could raise up my dead son, <laughs> ha, will, will none 
of those gods could raise up. Then I believe him that he is supreme. Moreover, when you told us that Jesus Christ himself died and he rose up again after three days. <laughs> and that whenever I call him, he will answer me too? Yes, your highness. Then you said that he can deliver me and my village from the power of the gods and protect us from all their evil powers? Oh, yes. Ah, yes. Then, then I give my life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I, believe, I take him as my Lord and my Savior. And what about you? Ooh. They have no choice. In this matter, they have no choice. Right in our very presence, Jesus Christ showed his supremacy over the gods of the land. In this palace, everybody must accept Jesus Christ. See, it is a very personal decision. Every one of them will need to confess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior with their own mouth. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm, ask them. Ask them. Ask them. <laughs> are, we, are, are we accepting? Me too. Are we accepting? Are we accepting? Are we accepting? Didn't I tell you? And uh, Kabesi, can we all kneel down and pray before the Lord Jesus Christ? Kneel down. I would like everybody to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. The King of Kings. The King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. And the Lord of Lords. I believe. I believe. That you came to the world. That, that you came, came to the world. And died for me. And died for me. I accept you now. I accept you now. As my Lord. As my Lord. And personal Savior. And personal Savior. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. Make me your child henceforth. Make me your child henceforth. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your salvation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us remain in attitude of prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your presence in the name of Jesus. I present these people unto you, the first fruit of my work in this village, Holy Spirit. I cannot do your work, therefore I ask you to come and work on all these people in the name of Jesus. Amen. Build the king. <laughs> Protect his wives and children. Guide everyone in this palace against any evil. Thank you for your salvation. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We can see that. That's what have you said. You mean uh, we too have now become the uh, the servants of that great King Jesus Christ? Exactly, Your Highness. And not only that, you will now begin to experience the great manifestation of His power in your life and in this palace. Hmm. You see, I want my people to see the power of Jesus Christ. I want Jesus Christ to show the supremacy of his power over the gods in the presence of the villagers. Kabiesi, Jesus Christ will show them his power. At the appropriate time, he will show them his power in this village. Hmm. He will prove his power to them, Your Highness. Yes. 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 Ah! <laughs> 
What is the matter? Kabisi, I'm finished. I'm finished. No rain was falling. No wind was blowing. A tree fell on him this morning in the farm. Go and bury your dead. We shall do something about it. The old village has become very hot. The gods are annoyed. Where is uh, Wigoroye, the chief priest? Kadesi Alai. He refused to follow us. He said he has already delivered the message of the gods to you. Ah. He has just felt the sting of the gods this morning. Kabiesi. But what happened? Kabiesi. My younger wife died during child labor this morning. The baby decided to come untimely. Both the, 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 the baby and the mother died this morning, Kabiesi. Kabiesi, your royal highness. The gods have set the village on fire. They are annoyed. Kabiesi, there must be a solution to this problem. Immediately. What other solution do you want? The gods have already spoken. And what has the gods said? That this stranger, Kabiesi, has brought evil upon this land. Mm -hmm. And he must be sacrificed to our gods tonight. Yes. yes. Kabiesi, tonight. Yes. Tonight. And what offense did the gods say they committed? The gods said. A stranger has trespassed. The gods of our forefathers said his presence has brought evil. Yes. So he must die. Mm -hmm. yes. I cannot accept that. Since when did the gods begin to claim the blood of innocent souls? Since the time of the beginning, Your Highness. Since the time the foundation of this village was laid by the gods of our forefathers. 
Since the time Orish Agogo has been claiming the lives of innocent young female virgins of the land for annual sacrifice. Your Highness, no matter what you say, hmm, the position of the gods remains unchanged. Mm. This stranger must die tonight. And I don't accept that. This stranger is not for sacrifice. Kabi Salaya, listen. People are dying in the village. And many people will still die. The gods will wreak more havoc until you bow down your knees before the gods and make obeisance to them. <laughs> if you don't release him for sacrifice, then hide him in your palace that the gods will still fish him out for the sacrifice. I said I cannot run away for the fear of the so-called gods and the chief priest. Mm. Reverend James, Reverend James, these people mean great evil against you. Mm. They actually want you dead and they can do anything. They can kill you through any means. So, I will order my bodyguards to escort you away from this palace this evening. Far away from this village to a place where they cannot find you. Tabiesi, I believe that this is another opportunity for the Lord Jesus Christ to show his supremacy over the gods of the land. If I say I should run away, what about you and your family that have given their life to Jesus Christ? I cannot go, Your Highness. Hey, hey, I believe, I believe that Jesus Christ will be with us. I know. Your Highness, I'm very happy that you believe that. Please let me stay. Please. Please. There will be no problem. Come here, see. Hmm? Let me read this scripture to you. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though one should rise against me, in this I will be confident. <laughs> Casa. Who wrote that one? The Lord Jesus Christ. Who? The King of Kings. He wrote it there for you and I. Who? For such a time as this. He said, when the wicked come upon me to heat up my flesh. Is that not talking about sacrifice? Yes, Your Highness. He said they, they stumbled and fell. And he, he, and he said, even if an host should rise up against me, that we shall not be afraid. Yes, Your Highness. Mm. And that is why I cannot go. Kabiesi. Kabiesi. Yes, Olori. I'm here. Wait for me. I'm coming. The chief priest is here. He's in the palace chamber. 
He came with his attendant. Wengoroye? Yes, Kabiesi. He is asking to see you urgently. I will see him. Go and see him. to see me. The gods sent me, your highness. It is time to go for the sacrifice. To which of the gods are you making your sacrifice? It is not my sacrifice, Kabisi, but our sacrifice. There have been a lot of cases of smallpox and epilepsy in the village today. Some children have died already. As you know, three adults were buried this morning as a result of different causes of death, including epilepsy. So, the gods demand that we sacrifice to the spirit of Ferego. You are the chief priest. Go and sacrifice to your gods. Am I supposed to go with you? Your Highness, we do not need to communicate with one another in parables. The item for the sacrifice is here with you in this palace. Bring him out. We go away. We go away. I have spoken. That stranger is not for sacrifice. Your Highness, I didn't choose the stranger. I didn't demand for the stranger. The God said he must be sacrificed. Lie. That's a lie. The gods never said that because the gods cannot talk. Hmm? Your Highness, what did you just say? We are your gods. We are your gods. When Jesus Christ was raising up my dead child, the gods never care about a single person in this village. They never save a soul. They claim lives and suck the blood of young ones and the young virgins. Wengoroye, that stranger, is not for sacrifice. Go back and tell your blood-sucking gods. Ah! The gods who enthroned you are blood-sucking gods? Your Highness, I will search out all the rooms of the palace for the strange man. He dies tonight. Go inside and bring out the strange man. Go. Pigs! Are you fed up of living on earth? Leave the way for them, or I make your hands stiffened for the rest of your life. Wengoroye, you made your boys turn into the palace room without my permission. Have you ever heard of such an abomination before? Your Highness, it is an abomination to resist the demands of the gods. You lead the prisoners. The bag to shoot to the chief priest. He has escaped. 
Please go give me sleep. Surely he has escaped. Let's go. He must have escaped. What happened? Ah. Did they see me? of the Oloris, but we found this bag in one of the rooms. We are sure it was the room he was kept. We saw his slippers and found this bag. He must have escaped. He must have escaped. Your Highness, if the stranger is hiding in this palace, then be prepared. The gods shall be your guests tonight. <laughs> Go and tell the gods that I shall be waiting. After all, what can seven impotent gods who could not raise up a dead boy do in the presence of the omnipotent Jesus Christ who died and rose up again after three days? <laughs> Your Highness, these are abominable words from your royal mouth. Oh yes, oh yes, abominable words to your gods, but most noble words to my Lord Jesus Christ, who raised up the dead body of Lazarus who was dead for four days and was even stinking. You are insulting the gods of your forefathers, Your Highness. Yes. They were gods of my forefathers, but not my gods anymore. I renounce the gods who take delight in killing innocent souls and subjecting my villagers to intense hardship and difficulties. I am now serving the living God, the Jesus Christ, the Lord over all lords. Go and tell your gods that I shall be with him. Good night. I said good night. They didn't see you? Yes, I mean, I was here. That must be another miracle of the Lord Jesus. It is nothing but miracle. Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can feel it. I can feel it. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is here, <laughs> he's here to fight the battle, I can see it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look at Kabyas. Yes, any news from the hunters and the night watchmen? Yes, we, we saw Oguji. The head of the hunters, and he said they have not seen the strange man in any of the forests around the village. But he said he will order his men 
to go deep into the jungle and make special search on top of the trees and the branches. Hey, did you see your Danilo? Yes. Yes. He said none of his night watchmen have seen a strange man. However, he said he would dispatch his men to search every street and corner of the village. Hmm. Chiefs of our land, I still have a very strong feeling that the strange man is in the palace of Alajuan. Uh -uh. uh -uh. But the, the men searched throughout the palace. They, they couldn't find him. <laughs> yes. They searched everywhere. They didn't see him. But he saw them. He became invisible to them. The strange man came into this village with a very strange power. And unfortunately, Halajuwa is captured and overshadowed with the strange power. But we entered a room. We only saw his back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he was in that same room. He saw you, but you didn't see him. <laughs> he had the sacrifice of the gods. He didn't die. Hmm. In my very presence, he spoke to a strange god, and the dead son of Kabyes rose up. <laughs> His strange power has turned the heart of Kabyes against the gods of the land. Ah, ah, hey. See, this man has evil powers, yes. and that is why the gods of our land want him dead by sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or else, the gods of our land will wreak more havoc on this village. We must do something. I pity Alajuwa. <laughs> I pity his wives and children. <sighs> Excuse us, boys. It is time to converse with the gods of our forefathers. Chiefs of our land, we have tried our best to save the king from the impending danger. But since he has refused to release the stranger to the girls, then the girls will have to visit his palace to fish him out for the sacrifice. of our forefathers awake from your slumber and engage the stranger in a fight he hides in the palace of Alajuwa the man you graciously enthroned on the seats of his forefathers <laughs> but Alajuwa has turned around to bite your fingers that fed him <laughs> attack Alajuwa mm. attack his household attack the whole palace and invade the hiding place of the strange man. Fish the man out for the sacrifice. Hobagro! Hala Jogwo! Hewe Agbejeo! Heboratim Belo do Muje Muje! Bemasaleo! Ferrequo <laughs> Gods of our forefathers. And you are shy, said that body at you any day. Follow! 
God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we begin to pull down all the strongholds of the enemy. Lord, you have said in your word that they that follow you shall not walk in darkness, but they shall have the light of life. Lord, we pray that from today, your light will begin to shine in this palace and in the entire village in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, we pray that you will come down and you will show the supreme mercy of your power over all the other gods of the land in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that you prove to all the people in this land that you are above all other gods in the name of Jesus. Amen. We stop death and diseases and sickness in this land in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. And we begin to sanctify this land. We sanctify everything in it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What do you want? We want blood. Blood. How about this? Bring That is the precious blood of the Lamb, the blood of the Righteous One, the blood of Jesus. Why do the heathens rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the heart set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Reverend James. Yes? Do you to hear some strange sound? Oh, it's not so fearful it has been sounded for quite some time. Have you seen? Some people are crying outside. Your Highness, shall we go and check? No, Your Highness. Whatever happens, we stay here. Nobody leave this prayer. We will find out in the morning what happens. Let us continue to pray, Your Highness. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over every force. <laughs> What is the matter? Kabiesi, ah. ah. uh, okay. <laughs> you are strange things now, Kabiesi. At the base of the Aga tree, Kabiesi. Strange things? What are the strange things? Kabiesi, dead bodies. Five dead bodies. <laughs> dead bodies? Yes! Ben, Kabiesi, the bodies of the chief priests. And the village five chiefs, your highness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go and see the strange things.
My people. Ah, yes, you. I don't know how these people died. But I know why they died. They died because they engaged the true living God, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, in a battle of supremacy. Amen. People of Bodhi Ajuwa, the true living God sent his messenger to come and tell us that if we accept him and receive him into our lives, he said he will deliver us from the deceit, bondage, and slavery of the evil gods. Mm -hmm. Hi. And my oloris, my children, the princes and princesses, and my gods, we have all accepted the living God, Jesus Christ, into our lives. Mm -hmm. And we have believed him. In the presence of the chief priest, E we are going to get Ferrecon. Il est pas au chou. And where was Champana? Where was Orisha Bobo, their blood sucking leader, who takes delight in eating the flesh and drinking the blood of our young female virgins every year? Where were they all? My people, the gods are all dead. Yeah. But Jesus Christ is alive. Yeah. My people, raise up your right hand in feast of victory and declare, the gods are dead. Yeah. But Jesus Christ is alive. Yeah. But Jesus Christ is alive. The gods are all dead. The gods are dead. But Jesus Christ is alive. But Jesus Christ is alive. Now, how many of you here wants to accept that true living God, the Lord Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords? Good, 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 good. Hold it. Therefore, my people, 
We shall serve no other gods or worship no other gods on this land again. But the true living God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, all shrines in this village shall be demolished. Yes! And henceforth, all festivals to the strange gods are hereby abolished. Yes! yes! And in three days' time, there shall be a large festival. Mm -hmm. It shall be called the Festival of Liberty. Yes! There shall be dancers and drummers as usual. Mm -hmm. Dancers and drummers shall come from neighboring villages as usual. Mm -hmm. We shall dance, we shall sing. But this time around, to only to the true living God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes! And right from, and as from for this time, we shall all gather every evening in the front of my palace and sit down to listen to the word of God through his servant, Reverend James. Yes! Let the families of the dead go and bury their dead the rest of you go and in three days time we meet for the festival of liberty
school of Bojajua. This is now the new symbol of our land. The cross of Jesus Christ. We shall now go to the center of the village. There we shall plant the cross of Jesus Christ. now all kneel at the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ to show our submission to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords henceforth in this village. 